Uh, my name is Rodney Clark, uh, Dean of the Attleboro Campus here at Bristol Community College, and I certainly thank you all for carving out time to be a part of us today and uh, for a real special ceremony. And as you can see from the program, we have some really important uh, speakers uh, laid out uh, before you. And we actually have some special guests to say a couple words as well. So before I get into the way, let me uh, get out of the way. Let me turn things over to President Sprague. President Sprague. Well, thank you, Rodney. And welcome, everyone, to Attleboro Campus and uh, the 50th anniversary for Bristol Community College. Uh, this is a wonderful event. We've been having uh, similar events at uh, all of our locations in Duval Street in Fall River and Ellsbury Street in Fall River and Taunton and Attleboro and New Bedford. Uh, we're very, uh, very happy about uh, the, the way that the public has responded and the community uh, supporting uh, BCC throughout all these years. Uh, started with very modest beginnings on a, in a building in uh, Durfee Street, the entire Air, uh, campus, uh, college was enclosed in one building. Uh, it's still standing, barely, uh, but uh, we're not there. And then in, uh, I think in the early 70s, we began, to, uh, we moved to the Ellsbury Street campus in Fall River. Uh, I think there were only two or three buildings uh, at that time, and now we're up to uh, 10, and the 11th is about to open uh, next spring. So it's really grown. Uh, we have, from those modest beginnings, we've, the college has grown to be the second largest community college in the state. Uh, there are 15 in the state, and we have, uh, when I uh, first got here, I think we were seven, uh, eighth or ninth, and now we're second. Uh, and the enrollment has grown because we've uh, uh, spread out across Bristol County uh, as part of our mission. Uh, so we're very proud of that. I want to also uh, pay acknowledgement to my two predecessors. In 50 years, uh, the college has only had three, um, three presidents. Um, and that's kind of unusual nowadays. You read almost every other week, uh, uh, you know, presidents change. Uh, and superintendents and principals, too, I think. <laughs> but um, uh, back when uh, the, the charter was signed in December 9th of uh, 1965, and uh, uh, the next year, in 1966, uh, the college uh, essentially got ready and opened under the leadership of the founding president, uh, Jack Hudnell. And, uh, of course, he had all of the tasks uh, to put, assemble a, a employee staff, a network, uh, and, and make all the policies and procedures and uh, work with uh, the Boston uh, uh, higher education officials. Uh, so it's a daunting task, and he did a fabulous job getting us, getting us up and around and started and on the table and running. Uh, we have uh, also then the second president. He stayed until 1978, uh, Dr. Hudnell did. And then uh, uh, Eileen Farley uh, came in in 1978, the second president, and she stayed from 1978 to 2000. And, uh, uh, then I arrived in 2000 as she departed, and um, uh, here we are today, okay? So we have uh, uh, a lot to look uh, backward uh, about, and with great pride. It's been a fabulous 50 years, uh, but I am uh, here to say that the next 50 are going to be even greater. The next 50 are even going to be greater. So I hope you'll be with me 50 years from now to celebrate uh, the 100th anniversary of uh, BCC. I'm going to be there, that's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we uh, want to thank you. It could not have happened here in Attleboro uh, without, your, uh, without your support. Uh, the legislators have been just fabulous, as has the community welcoming us and, uh, as we move forward. And uh, very proud of all that we've accomplished here in uh, Attleboro. There were some, some dark days when uh, uh, Mayor Judy Robbins at the time and Don Smith and Ron Kaminsky and I would slosh through uh, water-filled basements. And uh, uh, I think Lisa was with us as well. And uh, as we tried to find a, a home, we were in the old high school in County Street uh, in 2004. Uh, uh, before that, we were in the, uh, in the current high school. Um, so, uh, but that uh, County Street, as, as wonderful a building as it is, uh, needed some reverberation and uh, compliance issues. So we just had to find another place. And, and lo and behold, we found uh, 
this. It didn't look like this when we uh, moved in, but believe me, uh, cement and puddles and all kinds of things, wires hanging. Uh, but uh, what has happened is just a fabulous uh, transformation uh, for this building. And now we're, we're looking for more space uh, because uh, we're growing th thanks to the community support that we've had uh, from you and continue to have and enjoy. So I thank you all. Uh, we do have some uh, speakers to, uh, to uh, uh, come and uh, help celebrate the 50th anniversary uh, with us. And I'd like to begin with someone who's a pioneer from the old days, uh, Lisa Nelson, and Lisa from uh, Congressman Kennedy's office, and she's come to uh, uh, g give her words of welcome. Lisa Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a pleasure to be here today. I get to represent the, co the congressman who wishes he could be here himself, but he's in DC. First of all, uh, congratulations to BCC on 50 years. And a special shout out to some special people, uh, Rodney Clark for being the dean of the college and taking care of this facility. Kathy Torpe Garganta, whose vision this was and helped it become reality. <clears throat> but a special shout out to Jack Sabrega for 15 years of dedicated service to the students, faculty, and administration of BCC. I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> so these are some, some thoughts from Congressman Kennedy, who has been here many times. For so many working and middle class families, community colleges are an essential access point in, in an education system that too often prices them out otherwise. Community colleges provide a pathway to participation in our modern economy that likely would not exist for them otherwise in really relevant growing industries like clean energy, robotics, healthcare, and information technology. I have seen firsthand how these institutions provide a highly individualized ladder to success. You don't need a microscope to see how responsible investment in our community colleges and its students has far-reaching and long-lasting benefits. Community colleges open doors and break down barriers. Congratulations on your first 50, and here's to the next 50. And on behalf of the congressman, I'd like to present this certificate of appreciation for 50 years as a charter of BCC. So Jack? And now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce uh, State Representative Betty Poirier. Thank you very much, Lisa, and President Spraga, Dean Clark, and Dean Kathy Torpy Garganta. I'm here with my um, colleagues from the legislature, Representative um, <laughs> Howett. And Senator Timothy, I know it better than my own. Um, and obviously, it's a pleasure to be here to celebrate um, this day and this accomplishment. And I remember way back when uh, this center opened in Attleboro, and it really was such a special day for many of us. Representative John Lepper, who preceded uh, me and the legislature and represented Attleboro for a number of years. This was one of his passions to work with John Smith, I know, and others on the board to help to create a place in Attleboro where our students could go. And uh, boy, 10 years of educating children in this area, young people, I should say. And um, it has become you know, one of the strongest uh, lights in the city of Attleboro is to have this center here. And quite frankly, I don't know what we would do without you because we are so dependent upon BCC as are our students. 
Uh, many of them would not have the advantage of higher education if it weren't for this center being here. There is no public transportation to Fall River, and they would have no way to access the wonderful attributes and the wonderful education that you provide. So we are more than grateful that you're here. We definitely want you to expand and we'll work very hard in partnership with you to make that happen because as predicted, the day that BCC opened here in Attleboro, it was full immediately. And the demand has never waned, it has only grown. So um, it's a thrill to be here, to see that 10 years have passed by so quickly. It seems like yesterday. And I am thrilled to be here to present um, this citation on behalf of my colleagues from the Commonwealth. Would you like to join me, President Sprague? Um, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives be it hereby known to all the Massachusetts House offices and serious congratulations to Bristol Community College, the Attleboro campus. This wondrous occasion commemorating this year's 50th year celebration of Bristol Community College Charter Day and the 10th year here at the Attleboro campus. The entire membership extends its best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success. Given this 10th day of December in the year 2015 at the State House, signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo, it's signed by Representative Steve Howitt, Senator Timothy, Senator Richard Ross, and Senator Betty Poria. Congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Betty. Now, just briefly, if we can hear from uh, Representative Howard and then uh, Senator uh, Timothy, uh, a few words of welcome and uh, thank you very much for coming. It's very good of you to come. Thank you. Thank you, President. You know, I've been here a number of times. Actually, when I saw the invitation, I saw cake. I didn't see anything else. So uh, <laughs> it's nice that we're also celebrating the 50th anniversary as well. So uh, thank you. You know, we get to see a number of places. This, this position gives us opportunities and opens up doors to see marvelous things around the state. And one of them is BCC. I've been to the campus in Fall River numerous times for breakfasts and lunches and whatever other foods that uh, the President Sabrega offers to uh, bring the legislators uh, to visit the campus. Uh, most recently, we were there for the solar array, and if you haven't seen that at the campus in Fall River, it's a wonderful uh, structure. Uh, not only does it provide electric, uh, electricity for the campus, but it also covers the cars, so in the summer they stay cool, and in the winter they don't get covered with snow. But we're here to talk about Attleboro today, but it starts with President Sabrega. Uh, he surrounds himself with the best quality of individuals that he can find and that translates into the best education that these students can have at BCC. We see it all the time. Uh, the charts that you put up uh, during your uh, presentations where BCC, unfortunately part of the South Coast, and I say unfortunately because the South Coast is from a uh, standpoint of finances, uh, doesn't seem to get as much money as it should, whether it be the schools or some of our cities, and your delegation down here has been working very hard to change that. But when you see a school up in the Boston area getting twice as much per student as BCC, but with the success of BCC, you sort of scratch your head and you wonder maybe Jack should be up in Boston running that and straightening out that ship. But it's, it's such an honor and a privilege to be here and thank you very much for letting me be a part of it. Well, as the representative mentioned, we are so fortunate to have such a strong uh, delegation in Boston and in Washington uh, supporting uh, Bristol Community College. And there's no greater champion than Senator Timothy and uh, the great work that he has done on our behalf as well. So I'd like to invite Senator Timothy 
uh, to say some few words. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President, and it's, uh, it's all been said and said well, so I'll be decidedly brief, but I remember almost a dozen years ago uh, my meeting with President Sprague and Don uh, Smith about, you know, have, they had this vision and this dream of what could be and how necessary it was because the kids in this area were required by the Board of Higher Ed uh, to go to Rhode Island College and CCRI, and they thought that that was uh, fine, but as Betty highlighted, the transportation difficulties often put a hurdle up and to see what has actually been realized after those, the, the vision, the dream, and then the fight uh, in order to get it here. But to see that dream realized and see by, by your motto, learner by learner. So each time a student matriculates through these doors, they're getting that much closer at an affordable rate to the ticket that they need uh, for economic success, which unfortunately in many respects is the, is the associates and then the bachelors and they can go uh, right next door and achieve that. And I think there's many things that I'm proud of in government, but I gotta say that this is one of uh, the achievements through your work and in your continued work uh, that I can be uh, so proud. And it's funny, with the rich history that this city has of jewelry and all that, that the newest and shiniest gem in Bristol County is BCC Attleboro Campus. So congratulations. Well deserved on your success. Well said. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. That was well said. Uh, uh, I would like now to uh, acknowledge uh, Sally Cameron, who is our Vice President of uh, Communication. Sally? Sally has been uh, really running our 50th anniversary uh, uh, celebration, the multiple celebrations that we've had, and uh, uh, we've done just a terrific job. So, so please welcome Sally Cameron. It's such an exciting opportunity for me to be uh, in working on the 50th anniversary. Uh, it's a real privilege and honor to do so. Uh, this is my fourth anniversary celebration, not this year, but in my career. I've been here for 30 years, and so it's, it's just so exciting for me to see that 30 years ago, when I was brought on to run the 20th anniversary, we sat, felt like such upstarts, such little kids in education, but now to look around and see what under President Spraga, President Farley, we've been able to accomplish, it's very exciting. So I am grateful too for you, those of you who are here, and I just have a couple of things I want to tell you. One is that the reason that we are celebrating Charter Day, what does that mean? Well. 50 years ago, a radical idea came to the city of Fall River in borrowed quarters with no staff, no faculty, no seats to sit on, and a community college was started in the city of Fall River, and it was to cover the whole south coast, and it was a wild and crazy idea back then, the idea that people in the South Coast should have access to community college education to get a, a post-secondary degree near their home. One of the things I said yesterday to um, at the Fall River celebration, I asked the students to put up their hands, how many of you right now have families? How many of you work? How many of you um, have other responsibilities? Uh, and they all, you know, put up their hand. And I said, how many of you could have gone away to a four-year college to get an education? And practically none of them put their hands up. So the fact that we started here 50 years ago, not here, in Fall River 50 years ago, uh, intending to cover Attleboro and the whole region is just a remarkable feat. So. 50 years ago yesterday, on the 9th of December, is the day that the legislature signed the charter establishing Bristol Community College. So that's why we celebrate this week. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you is uh, two more things. One is my little friend here. This is TCS 50, not our do tea do That would infringe on a copyright. But the idea of, of TCS50 is to 
take your suggestions for what should go into the time capsule. We are going to bury a time capsule on the Fall River campus in the area of the new building, the Spraga building. And so we are looking for ideas of what needs to go in it. And we will open it at the 100th anniversary. And while President Spraga may be there, I will not. <laughs> So if you have suggestions, we'd love to hear them. There's forms over there, or you can just email me at the college and I'll be glad to put it into the mix. Uh, finally, uh, I also want to acknowledge the committee here in Attleboro who put this event together. In the last year and a half, we've been planning the 50th anniversary and we went everywhere and asked people what would be the pro appropriate celebration. And a no, every single campus said, and at the time it was not yet a campus, uh, including Attleboro, said, we'd really like something that can celebrate us, that we can do internally, uh, that, that is our own personality. So Charter Day was planned by Rodney and his staff, and this is their celebration that reflects what was important to them about being here at, in Attleboro. And I am so excited about the Attleboro campus because there is no campus that has the affection of its community as Attleboro does. So thank you so much for coming and yay BCC. <laughs>so any ideas you have for that time capsule please uh, insert them uh, I would like to invite also uh, uh, Kathy Garganta and Don Smith to come uh, forward to the uh, to the podium Kathy uh, Garganta is now vice president of enrollment services at the college but uh, in those old days ten years ago uh, she served as the founding dean uh, for our center and uh, Don Smith has been not only is can, is now the uh, president of our foundation BCC Foundation, uh, but has also served uh, uh, as president of our B, uh, BCC Board of Trustees. So he has a, a, a quite an influence on the affairs of the college, and uh, he was with us in those early days uh, as we searched for uh, suitable accommodations. Uh, I should also mention you're going to meet more uh, people from Bridgewater State, but uh, uh, President Dana Molifaria uh, in those days uh, was very uh, uh, helpful and very supportive of our efforts uh, to come here. And I used to joke, uh, you know, that Bridgewater State University is on the second floor. I used to joke about our students getting their associate's degree on the first floor and going up to the second floor to get their baccalaureate. It's not quite there yet, but we're working on it. And the, uh, the current president at Bridgewater State University, Fred Clark, has been equally supportive and just wants this to happen, and I'm sure it will. So let me introduce to you again uh, Kathy Garganta and Don Smith, uh, early pioneers uh, for, for Adam Ball. <laughs> We've all had a, an opportunity to talk and remember of all of you that have helped us get to where we are today. But I'm gonna take a little different spin and tell you that BCC has been my journey as an entering freshman in 1971 into the dental hygiene program. And BCC changed my life. And so you all know my story about being here and building the college. But I think that knowing the story um, of course, I couldn't have built the college if I didn't have Lori by my side, who really helped me build, a, build it. But, you know, remembering back and knowing how proud my parents were, one, that I graduated from high school, and two, the fact that I could graduate from BCC, which opened incredible doors for me, allowed me to go on to UMass Amherst, which let me graduate without being in debt, and then opened doors for um, BU Graduate School of Dentistry. And to be able to come from southeastern Massachusetts, where most of my friends, yes, we went on to college, but not the average person doesn't have that opportunity. And part of coming to Attleboro, where we always looked at it as being educationally landlocked, and the fact that President Sprague took a chance on this location and really 
you know, you took a risk and, and thank you because there's thousands of other students in the Attleboro area and in the New Bedford campus, the Taunton campus, who are just like me and um, wouldn't be here without your risk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. Uh, I, too, am a community college graduate, and uh, my parents are immigrants from Canada, and they moved to Hartford, and uh, all of our community colleges seem to have been started in hand-me-down buildings. Uh, mine was a factory building, which was an old Colt State, uh, Colt Firearms factory. And uh, it was basically with windows like this, it was very old, but um, my parents didn't have any money. My mother was a cleaning lady. My father was an auto body man. So I stand here today as a result of the community college system. And I, I think it's important that uh, we all recognize the important contributions that uh, BCC is, is, um, is playing in our, in our regions. We have our state, state legislators here. And we call it Attleboro, the Attleboro campus of Bristol Community College, but it really provides a service to all of our surrounding communities, Rehoboth, Seekonk, North Attleboro, Plainville, um, Mansfield, uh, Norton, and, and it goes on forever. So uh, just keep that in mind that we're really a regional facility. And I'd like to uh, recognize uh, uh, Chief Justin Alexander. Uh, is he still here? Justin Is he out here? Well, uh, uh, Chief Alexander is the uh, fire chief in uh, Plainville. And there are many, many people who are serving in our public safety uh, careers who have graduated from BCC. And there are many, many other role models uh, that are here in our community, that are staying in our community and, and benefiting all of us. So uh, as president of the BCC Foundation, uh, our job is to try to mine out all of those great leaders that have been products of BCC. And if you know of anybody uh, who's done that, who's graduated from BCC, please let us know, because we want to recognize them and we want them to become involved in BCC again. Thank you so much. Okay, well, you, uh, you there's the chief. Hey, 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 hey give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, uh, Don Smith was talking, uh, extolling your praises. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you've heard me talk about our partnership with Brid uh, Bridgewater State University, but we also are building and continue to build uh, strong partnerships with the Attleboro High School and the uh, K through 12. And, uh, you know, we're looking at such things as early college uh, that is sweeping the county, uh, and we're working uh, in other cities with that, as well as uh, dual enrollment and uh, uh, gateway to college where we can try to rescue some uh, people who have dropped out. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, if I could, uh, ask uh, Bill to come up. Uh, I'd like you to introduce you to the principal of Attleboro High School, if you don't already know him, Bill Rooney, and he's going to <laughs> welcome aboard. He's been here how long now? Have you been fourth, here? fourth year. The fourth year. Yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you, President Sprague. It's uh, certainly um, a proud moment for me to be here today. Um, not only as the, the principal of the city of Attleboro's high school, uh, but also um, as a resident of the city of Attleboro. And, um, you know, as, as uh, President Sprague mentioned, um, the, the partnership between Attleboro High School and BCC is something that is very valuable to us. Um, my students um, have the opportunity um, to live the mission and the vision of the Attleboro Public Schools through Bristol Community College. Um, they're, they are challenged, they're engaged, and they're inspired uh, by the opportunities that they have. Um, just Even just a few weeks ago, my son, who's in the seventh grade, was able to come over uh, for um, a STEM workshop. And so the, the reach that Bristol Community College has, um, even with the younger grades, is starting to make a significant impact. But um, as so many people um, who have been up here um, on the podium before me have already mentioned, um, the fact that Bristol Community College is truly a gateway uh, for many of our students 
um, to have a, a more prideful future um, is something that uh, is very important to me. And again, uh, President Sprague, we want to congratulate you and your entire staff on 50 years of Bristol Community College. Uh, but also I want to extend my personal um, congratulations to Dean Clark and the entire staff here at the Attleboro campus. Uh, again, as the, as the principal of the high school um, and also as a, as a proud resident of Attleboro, uh, you certainly are an asset in our community. So congratulations. Thank you, Bill. And now to close our uh, uh, program, I'd like to acknowledge uh, and bring forward our dean of the campus, uh, 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 dean Rodney Clark, who has built on the great foundation that Kathy Garganta uh, set forth, and now bringing uh, the center here, the campus, to a new uh, to new heights. So, Rodney, if you would uh, come forward, Rodney Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, I just want to uh, extend my thanks to everyone who's been able to come and to share words of um, encouragement and thanks. And we just appreciate uh, your time and being a part of what we're trying to do here to build on people's lives here in Attleboro, in the greater Attleboro area. So rather than attempting to restate all what's been already stated, I wanted to at least read the, a letter from one of our proud graduates who uh, regrets could not be here, but really benefited strongly from what Bristol Community College had, had to offer. So I'll read the letter this way. Hello everyone, I would love to share, share with you my experiences as a student at BCC from 2008 to 2010. Forgive me for being unable to speak to you in person, but I am talking with you both spiritually and mindfully. I have two names, my birth name is Panya Iam, and, my, and now my name is Panya Sofal Dunleavy. I changed my last name when I became a U.S. citizen to honor my American parents who saved me from becoming a homeless minor in the summer of 2006. BCC was also one of my saviors by training and educating me for two years. BCC offered me 110% scholarships. Why 110%? Because I didn't have to pay a penny for tuition. In addition, BCC offered me textbook scholarships every semester. Bristol Community College changed my life and helped me to make me helped to make me the person I am today, a happy math teacher. Bristol Community College provided me with not only educational knowledge, friends and family, but also life-changing professional experiences. I had a bike that got me from home to BCC and to work in Attleboro. Sometimes I was up very, up very early in the weekends to tutor my peers at 7 a.m. at various locations, including Dunkin' Donuts, one of my favorite places. Most nights I returned home on my bike around 10 p.m in all types of weather conditions, including ice, rain, and snow. By offering me many opportunities and much support, Bristol Community College was my stepping stone to earning my Bachelor's of Arts degree from Wheaton College down the street in Norton and becoming a full-time teacher at a prestigious independent boarding school in Deerfield, Mass. I love teaching math and I enjoy working with students of all ages. My joy is teaching and, my sh and sharing my educational, professional, and personal experiences with others. None of this would have been possible without the support and encouragement of BCC teachers and staff. Happy 50th anniversary, BCC. You are in my thoughts always. Job well done. What you may not know is that, and I didn't realize this myself, I knew that Bristol Community College had been in the Attleboro area for a couple of few decades, but and I just learned this evening, that uh, this afternoon actually, that Bristol Community College first started offering classes in Attleboro back in the late 60s, soon after we had started our charter. It might have been non-credit courses, but it just shows the kind of commitment to this area. So it's just really spectacular to realize that we have grown to where we are today. Uh, the college has grown not just in Fall River, but in all the locations that we're in. One of the people who is a significant contributor to Bristol's uh, success, a person I'm going to call it now, Ron Straminski, who was a great asset to the college really being a forthright uh, entity in this area. So Ron, please come on up. Thank you, Dean. It's a particular pleasure for me to be here with you because there are several different aspects to my involvement with Bristol Community College, one of which is, is that I'm a native of Fall River. 
And although I was too old at the time, 50 years ago, when Bristol Community College opened, I often think back to living in three rooms over a variety store and struggling to be able to go to college. And had Bristol Community College been there and available, my family and I certainly would have taken advantage of it at that time. Dean Clark mentions that there were courses offered at Attleboro High School in the 60s, and I well remember that because I was a teacher, department head, and administrator at Attleboro High School for 30 years, beginning in 1964. And I can recall very vividly over those years the struggles that students at Attleboro High School had with a decision of whether to go to college or not. Where were they going to go? Their parents were blue collar people. They didn't have the money. And I can remember many of those students saying, yeah, but I don't even have a car. There's no way I can get to the nearest community college at that time, which was Fall River and in Rhode Island. So many of them had to bypass the opportunity to get a college education. When I was in high school, 50% of my fellow students didn't even finish high school. And it wasn't all that important at that time because there were jobs available for them. But we know now that in the next few years, four out of five jobs are going to require some post high school education. And what an opportunity for the young people to be able here in the Attleboro area to have this facility. The other facet of my involvement was in 90, well, what year 2004, when President Sprager called me and said, could you come down to Fall River? We'd like to talk with you. And I said, about what? And he said, well, we want to open a campus in Attleboro, which was something that we had all desired. And so it was that I met with President Sprager and the provost. He was introduced to Kathy Garganta, who, by the way, is the most energetic person I have met in my entire life. And she and I together embarked on opening the first Attleboro real campus in the old high school on County Street. We contacted, uh, or I did and Kathy did, every school in the area, talked with every principal in the area, every guidance counselor in the area, hundreds of businesses, encouraging them to help us to provide information. The important thing was, can we get enough people to know that we're going to be opening? Because it was only a matter of months that the college was going to open. And there was a goal set for the number of courses at that time that were envisioned for young people and older people to take. And I'm really proud and Kathy and I talked about it often, that we not only got the number that was in the minds of President Sprager and the Provost, but we tripled it, the opening week of Bristol Community College here. And so it is that I look upon what's happened here with great pride, happy to have been a part of it, and I congratulate everyone who's had even the smallest piece of developing the success of this institution. So Mr. President, Rodney, congratulations to you, faculty and staff, for in fact another 50 years of success. And thank you. Next, I'd like to call up uh, Rob Geddes, our admissions counselor, who works tirelessly in working with high schools and adults and visiting students, uh, evenings, days, weekends, all sorts of opportunities, you know, to try to make available to people what Bristol Community College has to offer. So, Rob? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Um, so, uh, Rodney, a couple weeks ago, asked me if I would be interested in speaking because uh, this past November I was elected to serve on the Attleboro School Committee starting this January. And I, I was absolutely flattered and humbled. And I said, I think I said thank you in my response email three or four times. Um, and a couple days later, I said, so who else is going to be speaking? And he said, uh, well, 
Rep. Poirier, Rep. Hewitt, uh, Howitt, excuse me, um, uh, Senator Timothy, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm thinking to myself, so what do you need me for? <laughs> and um, and I'm, I'm around the holidays you can, and big birthday celebrations, you kind of take stock of all the good things in your life and all of your blessings. And, and I've always said I have three incredible daughters and I have an amazing wife. And so I go home that night and I talk to my wife. I'm like, what on earth am I going to say? And she says, don't worry, you'll figure it out. Um, so this is, you've all heard stories about my daughters. Here's a good story about my wife. Um, I'm starting to worry about what I'm going to say that could possibly have any impact after all of these other great speakers. And uh, this past Monday, I was at the 50th celebration in Taunton. Gloria Sadler is here from our, and Shannon Savoy are here from our Taunton location. And the entire college, uh, the entire group that's there sings happy birthday to BCC. And so I call my wife and I say, I've got it. I'm gonna do my best Marilyn Monroe impression and sing happy birthday to BCC. And of course, as any wife, you, you would expect the response to be, you love your job way too much to do that. <laughs> President Sprague does not want you singing to him in that way. Uh, but the response I actually got was, seriously, Rob, you would have to dress full drag and you do not have time to coordinate that and get ready for it. <laughs> so that is why my wife is so terrific. Um, uh, working with, uh, uh, the, the other way that I'm lucky is in my professional life. Um, I get to work where I live um, and in a field that I love, in a city that I love and where I grew up. Um, so I don't think it's any coincidence that the turnaround of Attleboro started in 2004 around the time that BCC came to Attleboro. Um, and when you look at the, the vision of Bristol Community College and the mission of Attleboro Public Schools, BCC hopes to change the world by changing lives learner by learner. And Bill referenced the mission statement of Attleboro Public Schools, which in part is that we want to challenge, engage, and inspire. those are lofty visions and lofty missions but when it comes to education we have to be lofty and we have to continue to be lofty so while we celebrate 50 years of education at BCC here's hoping uh, at least 50 more hopefully I'm with Jack there 50 years from now as well um, uh, celebrating continued uh, educational growth in the area so thank you and enjoy the cake And lastly, one of the things that, well, let me put it this way. One of the things that uh, students often wonder about is that they come to Bristol, they take advantage of low cost, high quality instruction, but what happens after that? Where do I go? What are my options? And it's the partnership that we have with Bridgewater State University that's been so wonderful for us. And we're looking to even expand that uh, in some kind of detail uh, down the road. It's been wonderful having them here in Attleboro. It served our students, it served the community, and it served both institutions very, very well. And so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, David Crane, Mary Fuller, and uh, Skip Darmody, who've been right there by our side and trying to help grow this campus for us. David? President Sprague. Dean Clark, thank you for inviting us to this important day. On, on behalf of President Clark, Bridgewater State University, the College of Continuing Studies, I want to congratulate you on 50 years of serving the region and serving it so well. And I want to thank you for being a partner with Bridgewater State University, uh, not just here in Attleboro, but across the region. Um, I am thrilled to be here today. Uh, we look forward to working with you going forward. Um, I can't promise that I'll be here for 50 years. Um, I hope I am, but I can't promise I will be. Um, but what I can promise is that we're working diligently to uh, finish up the details so that we can provide the opportunity for BCC students to finish their four-year degree upstairs here. So we look forward to working together. And again, congratulations. Thank you, David. 
Well, once again, I thank you all for coming. Uh, we're going to have a little brief ceremony of uh, cutting the cake, and uh, President Sprager and, uh, and other staff members from the college will be here to be a part of that. So I welcome you to stay and enjoy, and uh, thank you again for coming. Yeah.